Hello you guys, welcome to this edition of Talisha's Kitchen. Today we are making my creamy pasta salad. Now this is a real simple, e easy recipe. You don't need that much. You got um, a pack of turkey, meat, um, lunch meat. You can use chicken, you can use ham. The meat is up to your choice, but I use turkey. Two cu cucumbers, two tomatoes. I like the color peppers because it just make the um, pasta salad look nice. The red onion. Two boxes of rigatoni and this are the 12 ounce ones. But you can use any noodle. Whatever noodle you want is up to you. And you need um, Italian dressing ranch. And you must have this. This is a must, must, must. Um, salad seasoning. You can also at the end pour in a little French. So while we got the boiling hot water already boiling, we're going to um, add salt to it. We're going to add our noodles. While this is cooking for, you know, like 10 minutes or so until they well done. We're going to go ahead and dice up everything and put it in the pan. So hold on. First, we're going to start with the ham. Now you can dice up to your size. I don't like it diced up that much. Baby, set up. I'm gonna rinse both of these. I'm gonna tell you the best thing to peel this with is a potato pillow. You cannot go wrong. It's easy, quick, real quick. Now sometimes I have. Um, left the skin on there, but then sometimes I don't. So these are very easy. Let me show you how to look at the pillow. See, quick and easy. And you know how sometimes when you cut with the knife, you really be cutting a lot of the cucumber because it's so soft. Don't be too much worried about it if you leave some um, skin on there. It's not hurt or kill anybody. Because I, I like mine with, with the skin on there. I love eating cucumbers with the skin. So I'm just going to sit that in there until... I'm just gonna use half of this because this is a real big cucumber. So I would say just use one. I'm gonna eat that with some Italian dressing. Cucumbers are so good, Italian dressing. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are easily cut with a um, 
with a bread knife. This is a bread knife, the one with the um, ridges on there. So just slice them like you cutting it for a burger. Throw the bottom and the top part off. And then what's the good thing about these flappy cutting boards? You can see how you can just cut it. Cut that stuff off. So you got this, rinse it off. And then you can just dice this up. Make sure you start it. You can use um, green pepper, yellow, orange. It doesn't matter. I just like the colorful ones. It just make it look nice. What happened? I heard I have some person down on these. Okay. The good thing of having these clappy boards. I like to peel off the edge. Then rinse it off. Then you cut this. This is good for cutting with that too. take this little, sometimes they come with that little circle part, just throw that out. clean up and wait on the noodles like I said like at least 10 minutes or taste it till it's done then we'll be back 
Okay, you all, welcome back. Now, I have my noodles right here. I rinsed them in cold, cold water. You want to make sure they're cold because I've got to tell you, you need shredded cheese. I, I use um, Mexican blend. You can use whatever cheese. I know a lot of people, they use um, cube. You can put cube cheese in there, however you like it, but I just prefer Mexican blend. So here go the, um, the stuff we already cut up. You're going to pour your noodles in there. Mix all this together. Now I'm good with just pouring stuff, not really with measurements, but so you're gonna have to bear with me. Make sure everything is in there. So I'm gonna add my Italian dressing. I'm going to pour all this. this I would say for this kind of pan, I would say six cups each. Six cups of Italian dressing and six cups of um, ranch. Or just add it in there as you go. I know you notice, like, why she didn't put the cheese on there yet? I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I just do that last. And I also put the, the salad seasoning in there last too. I just like for everything to be mixed together. A lot of people just use um, ranch, I mean Italian dressing. I use Italian and ranch. And like I said, I add a little bit of French in at the end. So add your cheese, I would say about two to three cups of cheese. You can also go ahead and add your salad seasoning this seasoning is so good even when you're making fresh salads it's good any kind of pasta salads is good too i'll say about three to four tablespoons I just give it flavor that's all it tastes really good See, that's why I always like to see how I add stuff in there as I go. I just like to make sure everything is evenly distributed on there. I'm going to add a little bit more ranch in mine. I'm also going to add a little French. And it ain't going to hurt. Just add just, just a little bit, just a tad. So you mix this in. I will show you how this look in a second, but make sure you mix this all together. Mix it, mix it all together. Welcome back. Everything is mixed up, and you want to let this refrigerate it for at least an hour because you want it to be cold. I like cold. It's cold. It's a cold serving dish, but look at it. It is so, so good. Let me know how you like it. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and share below. Tell me what you put in your pasta salad. Another thing, you can put a lot of different other vegetables in there. I know people put broccoli, cauliflower, and all type of other stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. This is just what I put in mine. So let me know how you do yours. And if you tried it, how I cooked it, let me know if you like it or you didn't like it. Thank you guys for cooking with Talisha Kitchen. I will see you another day.